Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen or on this side of the screen. This is the new Sony ZV-1F and it is an awesome camera in my opinion with probably some pros and cons depending on the setup that we are looking for and hopefully this video will help you to decide if this is the camera for you or not. Not. Now, if you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out Keys Fan where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, you may get Windows 10 Pro at roughly 7 US dollars or Windows 11 at 13 US dollars. So, just in case you want to check that out, I will leave links down below. Now, there are a few things that I love on this small camera as a 20 millimeter lens with a aperture of f2.0 and I'm using my ZV-10 with a Sigma 16 1.4 and there is quite a distance so that you have an idea of what we can achieve. I do believe that the, the angle is nice and that we can use this camera as a camera for this kind of setup. Now, have in mind that probably this is a better quality that you are getting right over here compared to this one. But nonetheless, this is a much simpler setup. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy is that it's really lightweight, easy to use, friendly in terms of vlogging and in terms of the usability, really simple. And it has one thing that I'm really enjoying and I wish that I had on my ZV-E10, which is touchscreen, full touchscreen where we can touch the menu and select everything, which is really awesome in my opinion. Capable of recording 4K up to 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. If we lower to 1080 then we will get up to 120 if I'm not mistaken but I do prefer this method. 100 megabits per second recording with 8 bit which is, you tell me, cool or Cool. I'm really enjoying the lightweight of this camera. <laughs> Great for those of you that uh, want to do content for Instagram or TikTok. I would imagine myself doing content all day without getting tired of holding it. And I'm holding like a motorcycle, but there are selfie sticks that we can put on a vertical and use it like this. Actually, the one that comes with the Sony ZV-1F has that feature. But this one is going for YouTube so that you can see how it looks. Crop factor because we are using the active stabilization so that you can judge for yourself if it is enough or if you need to use any software like the Catalyst browser. Really lightweight. It looks like a toy, but it's not a toy. This is the ZV-1F. Really cool camera. If you are into a really light setup, this will be, in my opinion, a great addition. Now, in terms of camera itself, it's really simple, as I said. It has a few buttons here on the top, on and off. And then we have the modes, we have the photo shoot, zoom, the uh, record button and the C1 which we can focus the focus or we can change this button and then here at the back we will have the regular buttons menu FEN and also play and trash with the wheel which will take handy but in my opinion these buttons are useful but with the touch screen I really don't see the need to use the buttons. On the bottom we will have one thing that I do believe that makes a lot of sense which is the quarter inch screw. It's not on the middle so it will not block the area of the battery. I'm able to replace batteries, I'm able to replace SD cards, especially SD cards because I can charge via USB Type-C, I don't need to exchange the battery and it will not be blocked by the tripod or by the quick release plate which is in my opinion a great thing. Some of you might say okay but the quarter inch screw should be aligned with the lens. I prefer this way, not aligned but with room too, then being aligned and then we have to remove everything to exchange cards and whatnot. Here we are with this Sony ZV-1F, really lightweight and at this moment we are testing several things. Vlogging mode, no active stabilization on, so everything off. We will have all the frame. My arm is completely stretched without a selfie stick. I'm just using the Olanzi power bank stick, so my hand is just below the camera. And at the same time, we will be testing the wind screen or wind muffler 
that it's on top at this moment to see how good or not the audio will be. Here we are with this Sony ZV-1F, really lightweight. And at this moment we are testing several things. Vlogging mode, no active stabilization on, so everything off. We will have all the frame. My arm is completely stretched without a selfie stick. I'm just using the Olanzi power bank stick. So, and now with the stabilization mode, on my arm is fully extended as before so that we can see the crop factor that we have here i can see that there is a bit of crop factor but if you rewind a little bit you will see better now the question is how good will it be in terms of stabilization or not so that we can see if the best choice is to use the active stabilization right over there i'm curious about the wind i'm really curious because it's windy and uh, let's see how the audio will be on the right side we will have the micro input on the right side we have the external microphone input the internal microphone is really nice i will share with you in just a few moments but we have this option which i believe that it's great usb type c which we can use with a power bank for example and have extended battery life and also a hdmi output which is great and will give us a clear HDMI like my ZV-E10 and in terms of the USB Type-C we can also use it as a webcam which might be useful. In terms of autofocus it's doing a great job although it is a contrast based autofocus so a little bit inferior to my ZV-E10 which is spot on even with the lightning conditions worse and if I want to showcase a product right now I do need to put it on front of my face but as we can see it will focus at least on the screen it looks nice and then it will go to my face and that is without the product showcase it has also a really interesting thing which my sony also has the zv10 when i press the record button it will show me a led and a red line over right over here so it's great i always know when i'm recording and when i'm not and it does this sound which is optional but i really like it because it gives me okay it's recording and now it's not it comes with the windshield which i've used on the tests and when we put it on which is really simple it makes a great uh, job but it will cover the power button right over here now in my opinion it doesn't make um, too much hassle because when i close the screen it will shut off and when i open the screen it will turn on so no issues whatsoever can just close and open so i don't need to touch the button now to take a few questions from here for you guys one of which is the audio quality of the iphone it's not the quality but the noise reduction this is windy and i don't expect to be able to use this out so the sony here uh, will do a lot better in my opinion of course i still haven't heard on the uh, studio but i do imagine which with this windy conditions uh, we will not be able to use the audio right over here so probably we will hear everything on the sony the other thing that i'm curious to know is the uh, image stabilization which on the sony is active and there is someone right over here trying to play with me on the sony it is active and on the iphone it's the usual it works usually really nice so that's one of the uh, things that i would expect on the iphone to be better than on the sony but only checking it out and i will not change right over here it's just active stabilization no software at all the other one is the hdr which looks that the iphone is doing a little bit better but i'm not sure because the iphone has a bigger screen than the sony so i cannot tell from here it looks like it we have some really nice clouds today i wish it was a little bit more sunshine but on the other hand for high dynamic range test this is not bad so hopefully this footage from the sony and from the iphone 12 mini front facing camera both at 4k 30 frames per second hello 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 
will be great. So in my opinion, I do believe that there are several ways that we can use this camera. If you are looking for a really simple setup to use, then this is a great addition. Of course, if we compare with the ZV-1, then there is the advantage or disadvantage of having the 24 to 70 millimeters optical zoom lens, which might be great for some things. But if I'm doing only vlogs and I want just this distance, that is it. I don't need any other lens which makes it heavier and so on and so forth. This one would be the perfect case scenario. So I do believe that for someone doing Instagrams, TikToks and even videos like such as this one will be great. Having in mind that the video that we were comparing with the ZV-E10, I'm using a 1.4 16mm lens which will make a bit of a difference in terms of quality. And of course we are using a higher hand model camera as well. But this is a setup that I will not and I don't use it outside for example I only use it right over here while this one I can use it everywhere so this I believe that it's the main target of the camera the other thing that I do see at least in my case I could use this camera right over here as my secondary camera having this one right over here and then if I want to do a shot which I've been doing for this past few days with several videos that I do instead of having my phone I just put it right over here and I do have the same workflow I use the SD card I bring it out put it on my computer and then edit the video and so on and so forth so this is great and if I want to go out then this would be my option and forget about that just put this on my pocket and there we go so these are two of the ways that I see this camera being used and I do love the simplicity and the lightweight that it has so it's great for those that don't want to mess around with a lot of settings although we can use manual and I prefer manual mode everything that you saw was on auto say 90% of the people that will purchase this type of cameras that being said my name is Roberto George this is the Sony ZV-1F hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.